So in honor of Amazon Prime Day coming up, I wanted to show you guys a great deal on a mountain bike product that I think blows anything on Amazon Prime out of the water. And in fact, this deal isn't even on Amazon, but they are the Ibis Carbon Handlebars as seen here. Now, these are a set of full carbon handlebars with a neat trick up their sleeve, which I'll explain a little bit later. And typically these retail for $169, which is still a pretty, pretty decent price, I'd say. Most carbon handlebars are gonna be in that 150 to 200 plus range. But right now, you can get these for $100. Now, it's my understanding these are being discontinued. Not exactly sure why, maybe there's a new model coming out, but on Ibis's website, which I'll link down below, on many bike shops online, on eBay, you can find these for $100 or less. I actually got these for $75 with shipping. They came out to about $90 to my door. For 100 bucks or less, this is an incredible deal. Full carbon handlebars um, from a reputable manufacturer uh, in 800 millimeters slash 750. I'll explain that in a second here. Um, and yeah, they're really, really great. So in today's video, I'll be giving you some quick information on the handlebars, do some close-up shots, give you my first impressions, and then I'll go ahead and throw them on the bike and show you what they look like on my Ibis Ripmo. I unfortunately won't be able to ride them today because there is a problem with my crank set, which I will explain in a later video. So my bike is currently not usable. However, I can at least show you what they look like on the bike and I'm sure that they will handle and work just fine. I've heard a lot of good things about these bikes any or about these handlebars anyways. So um, this is just meant to sort of show you what you can get for $100 and some important facts and figures on the bars. So let's get into it. Okay, so before we head over to the bench to do our close-up shots, I wanna give you some basic information on the handlebars. So like I said, retail for $169 right now for $100 or less, which I think is a great deal. They come in two different models. So there is a lo-fi, as they are called, which has a 10 millimeter rise. And then there is the hi-fi, which are these, which have a 30 millimeter rise. So this is a little bit of a steeper rise than the lo-fis. You have both options. Um, and you can choose both. As of the making of this video, which is uh, July 17th, they're both in stock on the IBIS website and you can buy both models. So keep an eye out if you are looking for those. I would hit buy sooner rather than later because I actually was gonna buy these two weeks ago and then I went to the IBIS website and they were out of stock and then I came back about a week ago and they were back in stock. So it seems like they are running out of them because they're being discontinued. So go ahead and grab them while you can. Besides the different uh, rises that are offered 10 or 30 millimeters, these both come in the same width and that is 800 millimeters wide or you can turn them down to 750 millimeters with these little aluminum inserts, which is really a rather cool idea. So essentially, if you have the inserts in as they are right now, this is 800 millimeters wide, which is a pretty wide handlebar, but you know, pretty standard nowadays for kind of like trail and enduro bikes. However, what you can do is you can unscrew these inserts. Well, someone could unscrew them. There we go. You can unscrew these inserts and once you do that, it's a pretty long insert. Once you do that on both sides, they are now 750 millimeters. And if you want something between that, well, you can cut these inserts down and they say you can do this. There's aluminum, you use a hacksaw, cut them down. Let's say you take off another 10 millimeters on each side. Now you have a 780 millimeter bar. So you can sort of dial them into whatever, um, whatever width you like. And if you mess up, you can just buy new inserts rather than buying a whole new bar, at least assuming that they keep making these inserts. I, I imagine they will be in stock for a while or hopefully someone will make an aftermarket one. You could just buy an extra set right now if you are worried about messing up the cut. But the nice thing is that if you like 750 or 800, there's not much you have to do. Just either you know put them in or, or take them out. But this gives you some adjustability without having to cut your carbon handlebars and worry that you overdid it on the cut. Quick thing to note is you can't go shorter than 750. So if you like 740s, you really wouldn't want these in like 720. I mean, this isn't a cross country bar. They're better options if you want a super lightweight cross country bar, but you're not supposed to cut beyond the insert 
somewhat obviously. So if you want to go shorter than 750, these are not for you, but if you want to go 750 to 800, anywhere in between, this is a great option. According to IBIS, the weight for these handlebars, and it's a little bit confusing on the website, they say 256 slash 236 grams without the inserts. I don't know if that means 256 with and 236 without, or if that means 256 for the hi-fi and 236 for the lo-fi or vice versa, I don't know. So I'm gonna actually weigh these in a minute here and we'll see what that actually means. Um, but you're in the 250-ish range, which is pretty respectable for a carbon handlebar. Aluminum handlebar is gonna be probably above 300 and I'll actually take off my old IBIS handlebar and we can compare them for weight and see what the difference is. But the benefit of carbon beyond just the weight is that in theory you should have a little bit more compliance along with the reduced weight. So either way should be a good upgrade. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and head over to the workbench real quick. Let's get some close-up shots of the IBIS carbon handlebar and then we'll go ahead and throw it on the Ripmo and we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like. So let's head over to the workbench. And here we have the IBIS Carbon handlebars. These are already branded with their new logo, the Blackbird. As I mentioned earlier, you might get a slightly different look because the older model has slightly different branding. And I assume that was what was being discontinued, but it does seem like you can get the new ones or the new logo uh, for the same price. As you can see here, we have the Blackbird sort of logo right here. And then this is the front. Okay. And this is where it says uh, Ibis Cycle, Santa Cruz, California, Blackbird, Blackbird over here. This would probably be covered mostly by your grips. You wouldn't see all this branding once you have it installed. Here we see the insert, as you can see, and one of them is reverse threaded in order to prevent them from, you know, as you're twisting on the handlebars, you don't want them to un, uh, un unwind, right? And so one side is reverse threaded, which is a nice intelligent touch. You can see the insert. This is the left hand side it says here left and tells you which way to turn to install. So that is normal thread, right? Righty tidy, lefty loosey. And then this side is going to be lefty tidy, righty loosey because it is reverse thread, which is again is a good attention to detail uh, to make sure that they don't basically unwind themselves as you're gripping the bars because you'd be gripping them this way, right? You don't want them to, um, sorry, if you're gripping them this way, you don't want them to loosen up as you're turning or gripping the bars. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a weight on these handlebars, see how they compare to the official weight. So with the bar ends, these are 250 grams, and then let's remove the bar ends. Okay, so 230 grams without the bar ends, and that's really nice. So it seems like the 256 and 236 that they mention on the website is for with bar ends and without bar ends, uh, and it's nice that it comes in below on both sides. Uh, and yeah, 230 grams, if you go with the 750 or 250, 250 for the 800, is a pretty competitive weight, especially once you factor in the price of these of these handlebars. I think they look nice. I like the logo, I like the branding. For some people, maybe it's a little bit too much, but I think it looks nice, probably also because I do have an Ibis bike, so I do like the fact that it's you know made by Ibis. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get these installed on the bike and see what they look like on there. Okay, so let's do a quick comparison to my standard IBIS alloy handlebar, just to sort of see how much weight we've actually saved going to the carbon bar. This is, I believe, 
800 millimeters wide, so it is a little bit wider, but we can compare that to the weight of the carbon one with the bar ends installed. So let's see how we do here. Let me get this guy out here. Okay, so alloy handlebar is 256. So actually, huh, you're actually not saving that much weight. That's kind of funny, 257 with the bar ends is 250, you're saving seven grams. So from a weight perspective, it's actually not really worth it. Interesting, I really thought you'd be saving more weight than that. Um, kind of speaks to, I guess, the high quality of this handlebar, right, the, the alloy one. You are gonna get more compliance though, right? Alloy handlebars are gonna be a little bit stiffer, less compliant, whereas carbon handlebars should have a little bit more kind of good flex in them to make them a little more comfortable. So you should still get that. But yeah, you're not actually saving all that much weight, which is interesting. Now, again, depending on what handlebar you currently have on your bike, you may be saving more or even less weight, but from my stock Ibis alloy handlebar, I'm not really saving much weight at all, but I do think it looks nice, and obviously the added um, compliance should be a nice touch. So, fun fact. Okay, so I've got the handlebars all installed here, looking pretty good in my opinion. Um, I do need to torque them down. They do say maximum four Newton meters, so stem bolts and brake lever bolts. I'm gonna go max four Newton meters on those. The bell and the drop room's gonna go sort of like tight, but not too tight, make sure it doesn't slip. And yeah, all, all in all, pretty smooth install. Uh, let's get these torqued up and then let's go take a look at the bike outside. All right, so that's it. Ibis carbon handlebars for $100. I think it's a great deal, especially with the sort of unique feature of the adjustable width for a hundred bucks from a reputable manufacturer. I mean, you can't really go wrong. If you have any experience with these handlebars, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of them? Are they solid? Are they a waste of money? Let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.